Hey guys, Tim here. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I have another house review for you guys. And today it's going to be on the house of Zoologist. For those of you guys who don't know how house review works, in house review, first I'm going to tell you guys about which fragrances from the house makes it into my buy list. Second, which one are worth checking out. And third, which one I really didn't like from the house. And a little summary at the end. So we're going to jump right into it with my buy list. And the first one on that list is Beaver. Obviously this one is so good I already bought myself a bottle. This one in my opinion is the best woody fragrance on the market. It smells exactly like a campfire after a rainfall. It has a really nice woody feel complemented by a perfect amount of campfire smoke engulfed in this really really alluring animalic musk. It's honestly to this day one of my favorite fragrances of all time every time i wear it I just feel a lot more confident i feel a lot more productive this fragrance feels like an extension of my personality i've never had a fragrance that feels like it was made especially for me before and this one is definitely the first one and one of the ones that i can safely say i cannot live without and i only have a couple of those beaver is one of them the second one on my buy list is Panda. Now Panda is a really amazing green scent and I'm normally not a fan of green scents at all. I'm really 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 picky with them. I only have one green scent in my collection so far and for all the other ones that I've smelled I really did not like. But Panda really impressed me. This one smells like you're walking through a bamboo forest in China on a really really humid day. It has this really nice damp quality to it. It's super super green but it's not offensively strong green. It's a really nice tea based green with a sandalwood background. I think this is really really gorgeous. I cannot get enough of it. This one really reminds me of a time when I was a little kid. As a young kid, I really really love climbing trees and when you're on top of those trees, you smell this really really amazing fresh air, amazingly fresh green leaves. And I live in Thailand so that area is always humid and you get that kind of damp humid vibe too, which is also in Panda. And I think that's the reason why it reminds me so much of those times. The dry down of this is also very beautiful. The green tones down and you get more of the must coming from the back. It's like you're in the forest, you're climbing trees and suddenly right before your eyes you see families of pandas coming out into the scene and now what you're smelling is a composition of the tea based green mixed with sandalwood smell still there, the humid air and a really really clean nice animalic musk. I can't say enough about this fragrance. It's one of my most favorite green fragrance I've ever smelled and I never thought I'd fall in love with a green scent but thanks Victor from Zoologist for making this happen. Next is my worth checking out list and we're gonna start it off with the really nice boozy tobacco fragrance Rhinoceros. Now rhinoceros to me is very special and very unique. Even though boozy tobacco combos are generally overdone, this one manages to make it something new and it definitely stands out from the rest of the crowd. This one in my opinion is the perfect blend of booze and tobacco. The tobacco in this one is not dry, it's not harsh like most tobacco out there. It smells like someone took a pile of tobacco leaf, soaked it in rum, and then lay it out to dry in the sun. It's a really really nice, sophisticated, high class, mature, and extremely, extremely masculine scent. So with all this praise, why is it not on my buy list? For one simple reason, it is too mature for me at this time. I can't imagine myself wearing this yet. The guy I see wearing this is actually a guy who's 25 or 30 plus, who knows what he's doing in life, who's a little more successful, and he has this authoritative kind of vibe going for him. Wish I still don't have it and I just feel way too young to be wearing this. But if I was 25 and older and I know what I'm doing in life, I'm confident with who I am, this one would definitely end up in my collection. Next one on my worth trial list is a Daring King. This one is the most daring scent that I've ever smelled and it's called Bat. Damp Earth, Fruit, and must. This one could possibly be the weirdest fragrance that I have ever smelled. It's super super daring. It's really really hard to wear. I cannot imagine wearing this in public at all but the scent itself is a piece of art. It's definitely one of those fragrances that tells a story and paints pictures in your head. When I smelled it, it actually reminded me of a bat eating fruits. Just imagine a bat eating fruit. The furry musk aroma, the dirty dirt filled hands, and the very very juicy fruits that it's biting into. It's really artistic and to give it props for that, that's why it's really really worth trying. It's very unique, you're not going to smell anything like this anywhere. It's one that I probably won't buy for a very very obvious reason. I won't ever be wearing this if I have a bottle of it. I already have this sample and it's enough for me. It's a really really nice scent to take out and smell every now and then if you want to take your olfactory 
on a, an adventure. So yeah, guys, if you want to take your olfactory on a wild adventure, I recommend no other than Bat. Next one on my worth trial list is my most favorite female fragrance of all time. And it's called Hummingbird. This one is just so very aromatic and alluring. The fresh fruits, the soft florals, and the beautiful, beautiful honeysuckle. Man, the honeysuckle really gets me with this fragrance. Every time I smell this fragrance, I cannot get enough of it. It's just so... Man, it's just so alluring, so beautiful. It smells like the most beautiful girl in the world. She's not overly sexy. She's not being seductive. She's just simply elegant and beautiful. Love, love this scent. And although it's not on my personal buy list, I would love to buy this as a gift for that one special girl in my life. This is to me just the perfect fragrance for a girl, period. Very, very well done. So if you're a girl who's looking for that one perfect scent for all occasions, look no further than Hummingbird. Highly, highly recommend it. The next two are also worth checking out. These are newest releases from this house. And the only reason they're on this list is simply because I haven't had enough time to test them yet. I literally just received these yesterday. And they are called Nightingale and Macaque. Nightingale is a really nice citrus floral scent. It has this piercing quality to it that would definitely turn heads. I do like this one, but I feel like it leans more towards feminine. So I don't know if I'll actually wear this one. It's also the most unusual scent that they've ever released because the rest of the scent in their line all have this damp, like signature zoologist dampness to it. This one is the really one that smells dry. It really took me by surprise, but still very, very, very nice scent. And after I test it more, I'll give you guys my final verdict on it in other videos. Lastly, Macaque. Warning on this one, guys. The opening of it is super, super strong, and a lot of you guys may find it offensive, but it only lasts for a few minutes, so just bear with that until you get to the actual fragrance that actually smells very nice. This one, for some reason, reminds me of a jelly dessert, like a yellow jelly dessert that I've had a long time ago. It has this really watery, almost jelly-like sweetness. If you can imagine a yellow jelly or jello and give that a scent, this is what Macaque smells like to me right now. It's definitely really nice though and unfortunately that's all the thoughts I have for it right at this moment. Again, like Nightingale, once I test this one out more, I'll give you guys my thoughts on another video. Now to my not so fond list. For this house, I simply have none. Even though I don't love and want to buy all the scents from this house, I still feel like they're really, really worth checking out in one way or another. All the scents are very interesting and unique and very, very original. And that's one thing I love about this house. They're so, so original. If they're not creating something really new like that, they're taking old concepts and turning them into something very creative and very unique. In my opinion, this house really knows the meaning of innovation and props to them for that. House of Zoologist, guys. One of my top favorite house of all time for sure. Anyway, that's for my review today guys please leave a like comment and subscribe if you haven't for more content in the future and i'll see you guys in the next video bye what if i was meant to be born a beaver instead of a human